What was it like when you and JoJo was growing up? Uh, I think like we had good chemistry, man. Like we used to be, um, we used to be on the same shit, you know. Like I ain't gonna lie, we was a, we was a problem, man. Like we was a, if Shorty was here, we would be a problem, G. Cause I know how I am and I know how he was, and we would just been ourselves. But whatever you like. You would have found it in one of us. You know what I'm saying? Whichever, what, whatever type of nigga you like, you would have found it with them traits in one each one of us. Cause we was different, but we was the same. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I was saying before, Jody Joe was more. Uh, he'll fill the room with his vibe, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? We both got that in common. But him, he was more ready to be front and center. You know what I'm saying? He'll do stuff to attract attention to himself. Like, and I'm kind of the opposite. Like, I ain't gonna do nothing to. I, you know what I'm saying? I'm a low-key nigga, but he was ready to eat. Like, he wanted motherfucker to know, you know what I'm saying? He was around. So it would have been a perfect combination. Like, the nigga in the cut, play, play, stay his land. The nigga who wants you to know he in here, but these niggas together? Oh, yeah. Yeah, to answer your question, though. Do I still play 2K? Yeah, a little bit. You got to pull up and do a podcast. I was thinking about getting into podcasts and pulling up and doing some... You know what I'm saying? Some, some, some kind of like Money Man. Like Money Man is a good nigga, man. He get on there and he drop jewels to help the people. You know what I'm saying? Touch a dollar or two, and I love that. You know what I'm saying? And the things he research, I research. You know, if not, you know that man and that nigga smart. He doing way better, so he's much better than me. But the little jewels I could drop, y'all know I don't mind dropping them bitches, man. Uh, I respect you and Doug because everyone, everything y'all went through, y'all never changed how y'all felt and stayed down. The Undertaker, yeah, for sure. What's up with you and Kevo on the song? Uh, it's whatever. Man, shit, crazy, bro. Smiles had the hardest beats. He had the hardest beats, the hardest production, and the hardest fucking engineering, G. All three of them. Like a real producer, G. Like, niggas be saying they producers, but they don't want to be producing. Like, they don't be telling nigga, hey, that shit sound weak. Shorty do it like this. You know what I'm saying? That's a real producer. That's that's a producer. That at least I like. I miss my nigga G, for so. It like nigga don't even be wanting to get in the stool with some of these niggas, and it's 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 unmotivating me to do music because my nigga is not the same, right? But like I say, fuck that shit, man. I'm finna just go hard for real. I'm finna just go hard for my nigga shit. What does music mean to you? See, music to me, that that's a good question because I don't know. Everybody's different, right? So music to some people might be an occupation. Music to some people might be, uh, you know what I'm saying, they cheat code, whatever. Music to me, for real, for real, for real, is art. It's been like that. I never only lived off music. I never only did, depended on music to, you know what I'm saying, pay the bills because it's not. I'm a multiple. I need multiple streams of income. Now I I can't expect everybody to think or move like me, but to me, my answer, music is art for me. I don't paint on the canvas. I mean, I do that sometimes too, but my art is music for sure. Did JoJo ever fight anyone? Yeah, it does. 